Yo, what's up? This is Giorgio Martini from Noise is King, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to create a snare with Operator. So, um, we're going to be recreating the snare that comes with this project, which is part of the uh, commercial pack that we're going to be releasing with more than 350 uh, Operator drum synth presets. So, uh, let's see how that sounds. So, this is the snare. As you can see, if it's if the note is large, uh, long, uh, the the sound still keeps playing, and this gives uh, with this. I mean, we can do stuff like this, for example, and you can play with the sound however however you want. Okay, so uh, yeah, wait, let's. Yeah, so this is the snare that we're going to be recreating from, from scratch. So what we're going to do now, we're going to turn this track off and we're going to be adding a new track, a new operator over here so we can start from scratch. So we create a new clip and we create a couple of notes over here and over here. Oh, and we play the, the clip. We also solo it. Okay, so we are ready to go. Now we can start uh, tweaking the sound. So first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go over here to the master uh, area. We click over here and now we can set the velocity to affect volume. And then we turn the amount to 100%. So what this is going to be doing is uh, it's going to respond to volume. So. It's go it, it will be, if the note is louder, it's going to be louder, and if it's more quiet, it's going to be more quiet. Okay, so next thing we're, we're gonna do is we're going to change the algorithm uh, mode. Right now it's in full FM mod mode, and that's not what we want. What we want right now is full subtractive mode. So we just click over here, and what this means is, is that every oscillator is just going to be, uh, going to go out. Uh, and not going to be affected by any other oscillator in with the uh, FM capabilities of, of operator. Okay, so we got that done and we're also going to be increasing the volume over here and that's because I already know this sound uh, will need some uh, volume, uh, more volume. So we just turned the volume up over here and we are ready to go. So let's start with the oscillator one we're going to change the waveform to uh, no, right now it's in sign and we're going to change it to noise white okay there it is and we're also going to change uh, let's see how how it sounds this is too this is pretty 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 uh, um, okay that's better so right now it's just pure noise and we're going to be changing the uh, envelope so what we're gonna do is we're going to put a attack of 8 for example so it's a fairly not so large attack but with a little bit and then we're going to turn the sustain all the way down and we're going to be changing the decay to something like 3.6 um, sorry the sustain, the decay, 3.6, something like that. So it's pretty short. And uh, let's and we're also going to be changing the loop to loop. So let's see how that sounds. So it's looping the envelope. If we would make an, a node larger, you hear, no? Okay, so I'll just uh, put it back. And now what we can also do is we have this parameter over here, which is time. And we also have a master time over here, but this guy only affects the time of this envelope. So that's pretty cool. And let's see how that sounds if we change it. So you can see it's affecting the time of the envelope. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to set it to 27 and that's pretty good. So let's move on to the oscillator B. We're also going to be changing the waveform and we're going to choose this time noise looped. And let's crank the level up and see how that sounds. 
there you go. So it's a slightly different noise and this noise uh, you can uh, tune it up or down because it's like a sample unlike the other noise which is just white noise and this we can uh, turn the volume uh, the pitch up or down so that's pretty cool with this one what we're going to be doing is we're going to set the loop mode to trigger we're also going to turn the sustain all the way down and we're going to put the decay around not so something like this is good I know 87 was in the other preset that they were like em emulating so that's good and we have our little nice attack over there see let's see how both of them sound together now just now just one there you go let's move on to oscillator c so in oscillator c what we're going to be doing is we are going to use a again a noise white waveform we're going to change the loop mode to loop again so we're also going to be doing one of these uh, uh, clap type of uh, sounds and um, we're going to change the sustain all the way down and the decay we're going to put it around 26 which is pretty short not too short but and uh, what else we're also going to be changing let's see how how that sounds just like that uh, we have to turn the level up again it's not uh, the loop seems not to be working but the thing is is uh, uh, the um, the decay is larger than than the, the what the actual time over here I mean uh, the the length of this note is so we can just play with the time parameter over here there you go it starts to make so we're going to put a the time over here to 23 which is pretty uh, low value and there we go let's see how all of them sound together that's good all right now we're going to be focusing on the last oscillator which is oscillator D and this time we're going to be using a um, sine wave okay so we go and we uh, select we'll just leave it the way it is and then the uh, the decay uh, well we the tr uh, sustain we put it all the way down decay we put something like uh, pretty short something like 24 uh, trigger mode and um, that's pretty much it let's see how that sounds so it's just a little and what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be uh, using the pitch envelope so that this uh, this sine wave sounds a bit more punchier you know so uh, let's turn the pitch envelope on we just uh, turn the pitch envelope all the the way up the amount and you can hear it all it's already changing the sound we turn the envelope mode to trigger the loop mode to trigger and over here the initial and the pick we're going to set them to plus 12 which is already so um, all right let's see no it's good oh well let's let's see if we and we let's start turn the transpose to minus 24 There you go. I don't know if I'm not sure if this one uh, in the original one was um, yes, it's twelve. All right, so let's just do it like that. Okay, so uh, we leave them at plus twelve, and um, we have that thing going on. All right, so. Um, that is good so uh next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to turn all of them on and see how they sound it's a subtle difference but it makes a difference when later on when we uh, crank up the volume and distort it okay so next thing we're going to be doing is we have to uh we're going to be uh, using the filter so we turn it on over here like this 
There you go. So as soon as I turn it on, you can hear the sound changes. Right now, this is using a uh, low pass filter, and we're going to be using a band pass filter because band pass filters normally uh, are uh, when you create a hand clap or a snare, you want to to, keep, to stay more or less in the in the mid frequencies. I mean, you can experiment with high and with low, but normally uh, we, we will use a band filter. So we choose this one because I already know it's the, the one that's been used over here, but just experiment with, the, they, with them. They are pretty similar, but they have their differences in sound. So we choose that one and then we adjust the frequen frequency. So let's do it while, we, while it's playing. We can also do it over here. But I already know this is a pretty good setting. And you can hear the sound is pretty low right now. So what we do is now we over here in the filter, we have the shaper. So we click over here and we choose hearth. So let's see how that sounds now. Now it's much better. Now you can hear it's more crunchy. And um, what else? N next thing we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be using a um, redux. So we go over here, click it, drag it, and we're going to be using the soft uh, mode and we're going to be using 2.5, an amount of 2.5. So let's see how that sounds. So it's a little bit more crushy. And the last thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding an overdrive. So we drag it over here. And um, let's see the settings. We're going to put not so much drive, around 37, something like that. Uh, dynamics, we're going to put it all the way down. And drive what we're going to leave it like this. So let's see how it sounds with and without overdrive. And if I play with the dynamics, you, you get a different, sorry, you get a different uh, flavor. You see? So we're just going to leave it like it wasn't the original one and we're good to go. All right, so uh, there you go. There is your snare. Now we could uh, play all Let's um, copy this guy over here and we're going to put it there. And let's see. And now we're going to play the, the original clip. There you go. Okay, uh, next thing you can do is you can uh, map parameters so you can uh, tweak the sound uh, in more creative ways. We're not going to be doing this in this tutorial because it would be a too long tutorial. But here I just uh, mapped, for example, the frequency, the time. This one over here, it's called taste, but it, 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 what it does is it's... Uh, um, uh, it's uh, modulating or uh, affecting the um, time uh, values of of which ones wait is over there yeah the time of the envelopes over here so it's making it larger or shorter uh, the decay and the sustain so I'm I'm just going to play for example with this parameter so you can hear how we can change the sound afterwards so let's do that after we have to enable this one and we're going to mute the this one which is the one we just created so this is the original one which i already pre-mapped these guys Okay, good. So that was basically it. We're going to be doing more tutorials with more 
punchy, punchy snares and other types of snares. This is more uh, of a mix between a, a hand clap and, a, and a, a snare. But we're going to be more videos to create different types of snares, uh, hi-hats, metallic hi-hats and other percussion sounds. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Ciao.